Hey, welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, uh, Danielle, Cheryl, uh, COVID has definitely impacted us all, right? Yeah, yeah, it really has across the board. And for many people, it's even brought the devastating loss of a family member. And our next guest lost his father to COVID, and he decided to try to turn that tragedy into something that would help others. Please welcome to the show Stone Freeman, founder of Live Like Russ Foundation. Stone, thank you so much for joining us today, and we are so sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I, we appreciate that on behalf of my family and I, and uh, thank you for having me today and uh, giving us an opportunity to talk uh, talk about our journey here. Absolutely. And your dad, Russ Freeman, died from COVID-19 last December. And after such a tragic loss, you and your family decided to try to help others. Why did you decide to start a foundation in his honor? And you did it so quickly too. Yeah, I, I think our thing, uh, that's been a question that a lot of people have asked. Um, and I think part of it is is to help us kind of get through this ourselves, is to help us feel, you know, a, a little different than the darkness that we felt over the last couple months. Um, but largely, too, this is just something that dad would have done. And that's that's our, our mantra right now is is not only to live like Russ, but to uh, if there was any other families in our communities that, you know, have suffered anything, dad was always the first person to kind of help out. So we felt that now we can give back and, and do what, what he he would want to do um, and help people as much as we can. I know he'd be so yeah. proud of you. He raised you so well. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate that. Absolutely. So uh, how did you decide what direction you wanted the foundation support to go? Yeah, uh, right now it's, it's kind of twofold that our first primarily was a scholarship fund. And that's because um, he was so important to dad education, uh, primarily, you know, higher education, me and my two sisters um, are both uh, at the University of Rhode Island or graduates of the University of Rhode Island. Dad had a bachelor's and a master's degree, but also just kind of educating yourself on, on, on getting better in whatever field you might be in. So he was uh, mm -hmm. um, really involved at the Department of Corrections and, and training um, the newest recruits and whatnot. So it not necessarily just for college and whatnot, but giving students and people an opportunity to continue getting better in their field was was something that was really important to him and, and now important to us at the foundation. Wow. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of courage and inner strength to do what you're doing and to talk about this and try to help others. And raising money too is not easy to do. So how are you going about doing that? Well, right now it's, it's, it's not us. It's, it's our community. Um, and that's really been, you know, our pillar right now that that's holding us up is is our community here in Rhode Island. Uh, Dad was from Cape Cod in Massachusetts, so his community back home. Um, the Rhode Island Brotherhood of Correctional Officers, where my mother and father were both or are correctional officers still in my mom's case. Um, all these different communities have have come together and have really rallied around us. Um, we're, we've done a wristband um, that says "Live Like Russ" on him with his badge number eleven sixty three, and and that started off as just. Hey, make a donation. You get a wristband, and we did a drive-by outside our house, and and we got upwards of, of four thousand dollars just there outside mm -hmm. of our house. So our community has really helped us, and now we have a lot of people that have local businesses and whatnot that you know are donating a portion of their sales on certain days to our foundation, and that's allowed us to grow a little bit. Wow. Yeah. You mentioned those uh, bracelets. Live like Russ. What what is the ultimate goal of the Live Like Russ Foundation? I think the ultimate goal is is to just kind of spread exactly what dad was here on earth because there, there's there's this kind of this mantra, you know, and it, it happens to everybody when they lose somebody is versus was. And um, there is a side of it that will always, you know, is or was big Russ was my dad, uh, Russell Freeman. Right. But the is 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 what we can continue to carry on. And that's helping people out. So um, in the long run, again, we want to get scholarships out to students. But then also, uh, as we continue to grow, anybody that needs help in our family and community and we feel that they could use our support and something that dad would be passionate about, uh, we will do whatever we can to help them out. Wow. Amazing. And before we go, could you share with other viewers who are watching and explain to them why everybody should take COVID so seriously? Because I'm sure this loss was unexpected for you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, right now it's it's just about listening to to people right now and and, and hearing what's important. Um, you know, me and my family are fortunate where where we're starting this vaccination process right now, and we want this over just as much as anybody. But it's not mm -hmm. over yet, and that's that's the concerning part. Is um, numbers continue to decrease? I think at least in Rhode Island we're starting to see that, but it doesn't mean it's over. And I think the only thing that I would ask you, like today, I saw. Um, the Rhode Island Department of Health, you know, it said only one person had died, that deaths are decreasing. And my wow. instinct is to say, yeah, that's that's a good thing, right? But that's also one family that has to go through what we're yeah. going through.
through. So yeah. that's my only reminder. I look at the transparency report by the state of Rhode Island every day, and there's only one state employee death, and it's our dad. So yeah. my concern and my logic is just just think about that one person and that one person's family, and um, and wear your mask, do what the scientists and people that that are doing far more research than I am are saying, and and just be safe because you might feel invincible, but that doesn't mean everybody is. So mm -hmm. just just be cautious. Good advice. So important. And Stone, uh, where can people find more information or make a donation to the foundation? Yeah. You can reach us. Um, that's my personal Twitter. So I'm always on Twitter. Feel free to interact with me. We also have a Gmail that you can feel free to send an email to. It's uh, live like Russ 1163 at gmail.com. And then we also just started a Venmo account, uh, which is just live like Russ Foundation. If you want to make a donation via Venmo, feel free to do so. All right. Awesome. Well, Russ. thank you so much for joining us, Stone. Thank you very much for having me. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you again. And I know thank Russ's you. memory will live on, Stone. So thank you again for all you're doing. Absolutely. Uh, so safe to say, Cheryl, that life truly ups and downs can really be a circus. And uh, coming up, we are going to get to speak uh, with a circus who has found a way to do some good all year round. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>